Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today we're going to whiten teeth in Photoshop. And this is something that can be a really quick process. So um, the picture I've chosen is of myself because I don't really feel like whitening someone else's teeth. Okay, so first off, we are going to duplicate this layer. I'm just going to grab the layer picture and pull it right down onto the new layer icon. So now we have a copy. Um, next, I'm going to zoom in on the mouth part. As you can see, I think it's just the lighting, but they're a little uh, yellowy. Almost every photo that you come across probably could stand to have the teeth whitened a little bit, but you absolutely want it to be natural looking. Okay, so we've duplicated the layer. So now uh, let's find the channel with the most contrast. And to do this, I'm gonna hit Command 3, Command 4, and Command 5. Probably Command 4, which is the green channel, is the one with the most contrast. So in your channels window, just take your green and duplicate that channel. And now we're only viewing the green channel. Then we'll hit Command L, and I am going to really up the contrast a lot so that you can see the teeth very well and the other stuff not quite as much. Okay. And now I'm going to command click on that channel. Then I'm gonna click on RGB right up here. Now we'll hit command J to jump the pixels. Let me take a look at that. I'm gonna option eyeball click this and you can see that the teeth are pretty well selected out there. Now with my lasso tool or the L tool, draw just around those teeth like this and then do inverse which is shift command i you can also do select inverse right up here and then delete so if we option click on the eyeball of that layer we have almost isolated the teeth maybe we can erase with the e tool a little bit around there to not have that other information very much okay now we can just add a new adjustment layer it can be hue saturation. And I'm going to hit option command G. So that is only applying to layer two here. And on a PC, that would be control alt G. Open your properties window if it isn't already open and knock that saturation down quite a lot. So they should look kind of gray now. And then bump the lightness up a little bit. And like I said, we don't wanna to get too crazy with it. I'm gonna go a little bit crazy at first. Let me zoom out now. This is way too much white, obviously. So let's click on layer two and we will knock that opacity down. And you can do that just by hitting six, seven, eight on your keyboard. You can see what's happening to my opacity when I hit six, five, four, three, or any of those, maybe even 30%. I think 30% is pretty natural for this photo. You can see what happens when you hide that layer how different the teeth are. Just eyeball the whiteness of them. Make sure they're not too brilliant white. If we put this at 100, it just gets a little bit crazy. So 30, I think is plenty white for these teeth in this picture. Okay, and that is my video for today. If you like this video, please click on the like button and I will see you next Thursday for another graphic design tutorial video. Thanks everyone.